Welcome to this weekend's edition of Mox News. I'm Jenison Owens. And I'm Olivia Brown. UTC is a big part of research taking place during the Chattanooga Marathon. Mox News found out how it involves emotion and exercise. The brain activity of both a sport management professor and a grad student at UTC will be on display for the public as they run the Chattanooga Marathon Sunday, all with the help of a Bluetooth headband tracking brainwaves. The idea for this experiment came from Drew Bailey, Assistant Health, and, Assistant Health and Human Performance Professor at UTC. Bailey said he is interested in the relation between physical activity and physical activity health, especially in an outdoor area such as Chattanooga. He said he is looking to explore the mental health of outdoor activity. This electroencephalogram, or EEG, is a portable brain scanner. There are multiple sensors located on the headband that read into the frequency of the electrical signals produced by brain activity. There are two sensors located in the front, two on the side, and one on the top. The EEG will create an in-depth depiction of what athletes are going through while running the marathon by trying to understand what mood states come from brain waves. I think it's interesting to see what an athlete goes through throughout an event like this and trying to have the ideal emotions that they go through and like what they're at the toughest part like mentally maybe calming yourself down or if your performance is better when you are like all those emotions are spiked. So you can imagine a runner would try to get into that meditative state while they're running so their body doesn't overreact to the stress that they're under and then of course they would, that would have the effect of them enjoying the process probably more too because they're not agonizing <laughs> the entire time. So for sure it can help you with performance and to understand you know, the mental state that you're in so you can continue to do the activities that are more positive. The sensors track the electrical charge produced when neurons in your brain begin firing and pushing ions across. The neurons can fire in waves and whenever a wave comes by it pushes ions to one side creating the electrical charge. Neurons are fired in a regular pattern if a person is in a meditative state. Quicker, irregular neuron firing activity occurs when a person is thinking hard about something. It'll be interesting to look back and say, wow, you know what, that, that did closely correspond with, with how I was feeling at that point. And, and I think that is what is so appealing to, to spectators and to participants. The creators are hoping the EEG shows to some degree what the participant is thinking. The headband doesn't read literal thoughts, but it measures in a more figur figurative sense, reading concentration and relaxation levels. So any, any time that uh, you, your performance outcomes are on display for everybody to see, I mean, it, there's always a sense of anxiety there. Uh, I have no idea how my body is going to react. I have no idea if I trained enough. The Chattanooga Marathon will be held March 4th through March 6th and includes a 26.2 mile marathon, a 13.1 mile half marathon, a team relay, a classic 150 5K race, and a kids fun run. Stay tuned for Mox, to Mox News for more coverage on the Chattanooga Marathon and the EEG headband. Art students are sculpting, painting, and drawing away to get everything finished for sophomore review and art scholarship awards. Sophomore review is the evaluation process to, to determine who will be accepted into the art program. Art scholarship awards happen simultaneously, which is why several hallways of the Fine Arts Building are covered with art. They serve as dedicated spaces for students to showcase their work and have it scored by professors. When I was making my selections, I chose a lot of the work that I loved the most instead of what I thought professors would like. I was just, I was just like, oh, I like this sculpture, so I'm going to put it out there. Each display can have up to 10 pieces of art and is assigned a number to make judging unbiased. Students take great care installing the work and, um, and, it, and it gives you a very quick kind of cross section of a lot of the hard work that goes on throughout the year. We are looking for very objective things, certain kinds of skills, and the demonstration of certain kinds of knowledge. The displays were taken down Thursday, but the Crest Gallery of the Fine Arts Building has several exhibits worth checking out. Dozens of students gathered in the UC Auditorium on Wednesday to hear guest speaker Colleen Coffey's discussion, A Complete Life. This event is part of Feel Good Naked, a program that helps people celebrate the body and encourage a positive self-image. Coffey shared her experience with mental health issues and eating disorders. It took a few years to find out the right treatment. I was in the hospital for 33 days. Today, that would not happen. Okay? Today, we look at mental health things. There's been a tremendous amount of advocacy over the last you know, two decades. Today, if that same 
same thing happened. We look at a mental health facility as treating people that are in danger of taking their own lives or in danger of taking the life of someone else or that are like too sick to function. Coffee received the help she needed and encouraged students to not be afraid to seek help if they feel like they have a disorder. If you or someone you know suffers with any health disorders, contact the Counseling and Personal Development Center at 423-425-4438. Housing brought down the house Tuesday night. UTC Housing and Resident Life sponsored a comedy night in the UC. Students came to the UC Auditorium Tuesday night to hear a comedian and possibly save some money. There was a raffle drawing after the show to cover the application fee of $250 for 20 students. Altogether, $5,000 was total value given away. It's a regular college, but they specialize in teaching the students how to drive and fix like the oil tankers and the cruise ships. It's like a three-year program. They come out making like 90 grand a year, guaranteed. Look at everybody, transfer. The housing application deadline for current students for next school year was February 28th. Also on campus this week was Tennessee U.S. Senator Bob Corker. He is the first speaker in a business leadership series. Corker talked about his experience building up a construction business, starting with the pickup truck and $8,000. He also talked about the creation of the 21st Century Waterfront Project while he was Chattanooga mayor. Corker told students to find something different about themselves and pursue it with a passion while remembering to serve others. A reminder that next week is Comm Week. You hear from experts from the field of communication with lectures in about a dozen classes. Make sure to take part in photo night and pizza with the pros. Also next week is Grad Fair at the bookstore. It's a good time to pick up your cap and gown if you are graduating. You learn about joining the Alumni Association and you can find out about buying a DVD about commencement. That does it for this week's edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our videos uploaded throughout the week on YouTube. We air on the UTC TV channel and housing channel 2.1. So tune in and have a great weekend from all of us here at Mox News.